going to look at 2x4 decoder with enable. Let's look at the 2x4 decoder. Decoders are basically with uh, n number of input and 2 power n number of output. So if the input is 2, then we are going to have the output of 4. If the input is 3, we are going to have the output of 8. So it goes like that. So let's say uh, this is a 2 by 4 decoder we have and the input is A and B and the output is B0, D1, D2 and D3. And if we draw the logic gate diagram for this, if you don't know how did I der derive the logic gate diagram, you can watch my previous video. I have gone through the step of you know deriving the deriving it deriving the truth table and then drawing it but here i'm just gonna draw it directly because i want to explain the logic gate with enable enable line on it that's the purpose of this video so here we have two input a and then b as well B and this is a complement and this is B complement. Okay, and uh, here we are going to need for and get for the first first one will be connected with A naught and B naught. And that gives the output of B zero. The second one with is connected with a naught and b and that gives the output of b1 the easier way to remember is you know like when you with the decoder goes from top to bottom so if it's zero zero it's gonna select d0 if it's 0, 1, it's going to select D1. If it's 1, 0, it's going to select D2. If it's 1, 1, it's going to select D3. And if it's 0, so here this is A and this is B. So if it's 0, we have to do a complement. That's why we have A0, B0. And uh, that gives out of D0. And this one will give out of D1. And this one will give out of D2, D3. So this is A complement B gives D1. That's why we have A complement B. And then to get uh, D2, we have to have A and B complement. A and then B complement. And to get uh, D3, we have to have both of them A and B. D2 and D3. So this is a normal diagram, normal the normal logic gate diagram for the decoder. But uh, let's see what happens if you have an enable line. So usually in a decoder, the enable will be shown here. Enable. But here in the logic gate diagram, we just draw a line for that like this. This is enable line. that will be one of the input for the AND gate and what happens is if, if you put enable is equal to zero that's going to make the output to zero like the, the logic the decoder is not going to work because all the output will be zero because if you analyze AND gate you don't know deeply about AND gate you can watch my previous videos in AND gate if one of them is zero that makes the whole thing zero so if we if the enable input is zero then it's gonna make the whole AND gate zero so there's no output but if the enable is one if the enable is one it's not gonna change anything like uh, the d0 output will be d0 output d1 output will be d1 output so it's, it's going to give whatever the output is already having. So D, if it's one, it's not going to change anything. 
so if the enable is one we are going to get exact same output so it's going to make this one work and if if it's zero it's going to turn it off okay that's basically the difference between like that's that's what the enable do uh, enable actually allow you to control it you can turn it on and turn it off and that's basically it i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my